Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, today we're going to take another look at uh, Habib and Naga. Another very interesting match. I don't know the opponent's name, so we'll just call him Bob today. Um, and Bob shot in on a single here. Uh, he actually shot in maybe in the first 15 seconds of the match, but it was kind of an uneventful shot because, you know, due to the nature of a bladed stance, which Habib was using at the time, it's very easy to take a single and just collect the leg. Uh, as you can see here, I want to point out a very important detail about how Habib is defending this. One, you can see that the hips are pretty in, right? The um, His torso right here and his leg, there's not too much bend in this, right? If he was really bent over this way, um, it would not be a very good position for him. Uh, and also his foot right here, his toes are pointed out, right? So now there's a there's a kind of a, a section of angles that are acceptable for your foot to be pointed, right? And it kind of happens in this quadrant right here. So if we imagine uh, like this being kind of a quadrant of a graph right here, uh, this section of angles right here is acceptable for your foot angle placement um, over here uh, when you're in a bladed stance with your opponent attacking a single. And the reason for this is because if your foot ends up over in this quadrant, over on this side right over here, uh, it's going to be very easy for your opponent to run the pipe, right? You're going to get taken down this way. If your foot is over here, I don't know how it's happening because it sounds like you have very flexible ACLs. So uh, if you could put your foot over here, I guess it's theoretically possible that, that would be acceptable, but I don't know anybody but that really can comfortably, right? So you want to keep your, your foot in this section of, uh, of angles at all times. Now, this is the reason why Habib actually fails here in the beginning and kind of gets himself stuck in a bad spot is because he fails to keep his foot in this section of angles for an extended period of time. You can see how his foot is just barely within this section of angles. It's just right here at that kind of 90 degree mark or whatever, you know, uh, and it could be anywhere between that 90 degree mark and the 180 degree mark right over here. Uh, but it will eventually turn into this placement right here. And he won't get the pipe run, but he will fail on his defensive strategy. So we'll take a look at how that plays out. So as you can see here, his foot, if you kind of keep a look at what's going on, he's kind of keeping it pretty well angled right now. And then now it's starting to turn in. He's starting to point it a little bit more towards his opponent as he's hopping around, right? Now he's going to do a big backflip over the top, and then his opponent's going to get onto his back, right? So this was the big mistake, right, is that he was keeping his foot really pointed towards his opponent, and then his opponent started getting ready to do a nice big takedown, right? He's trying to looking for the treetop and things like that. We can kind of take a look back here. Habib's got his foot in the middle right here. His opponent kind of slips it out right here, and he's got the treetop, right? This could be devastating, right? Because if he gets the treetop here, Habib's going to go way back that way, right? So now in this situation, right, it's a split-second decision moment, right? So there's no real... Uh, I don't necessarily fault Habib for uh, choosing to do, like, this kind of backflip flip out of the single leg. Um, however... You know, I, I do a different move from this spot. Um, that's not to say that mine's better, it's just different, right? However, I do think that in the beginning, the foot placement here of having your toes pointed slightly towards your opponent, right? When we have this, uh, the line would be like right here, and you'd want, you know, given this kind of normal line right over here, perpendicular line, we would want the... Uh, we would want the angle to be in here, right? We want the foot placement to be out that way. Given that the foot's at the rod angle here, this is what the error was, right? The error is not the backflip. The backflip is uh, was forced based on the error. Now, what you could do um, alternatively is do a scissor takedown from here, right? So you could do a scissor takedown as option number one, or you could slide this leg right here you could take the leg, you could slide it in between the legs and enter into single leg X and start reaping over the top right here. So both of those are options um, as far as uh, alternatives to the situation. Now, sliding your leg in this way is very difficult, especially with the leg on the outside. A scissor takedown might be a little bit easier from here. The single leg X, X slide is a little bit easier when uh, Habib's top leg right here is on the outside and the hip um, on his opponent's left instead of his opponent's right. So right here, this is a very standard setup for scissor leg takedown. Uh, if the opponent had uh, hiked the leg up to the opposite side of the body, that would be a very standard setup for a single leg X entry into a reap. Um, so this was kind of the error that was made in the beginning of the match, and I just wanted to point out kind of how it played out, right? And you can see the back flip comes over, opponent lets go, starts taking the back, and then now Habib has to fight him off here. Habib does a good job of making sure that the hooks don't come in, and the opponent gets very aggressive on this kind of rear naked choke situation and kind of flails around a little bit looking for um, top position, and that's why Habib eventually gets out. 
but just an interesting mistake made at the beginning of the match, which is eventually rectified.